Hi, Henry. We're here. Jockeys, please dismount. I'm not a jockey. I'm a cowboy. Woohoo! Leo, you'll be pleased that we're here to build extra stables for those horses we just saw. They're not just any horses, Bob. They're thoroughbred race horses. They're extra fast and extra nervous. I've been trying to catch them all morning. Well, now the panels are here, we can get started. Don't worry, you'll have your stables in no time. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <laughs> Well, I don't know where Leo's got to, but we'll have to get on and fit the roof without him. Yee-haw! Ride him, cowboy! No, 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 no! <laughs> this is a racetrack, not a rodeo. Heading for the racetrack. Wendy, Leo, get ready to close the paddock gate. Scoop, come with me. But Bob, how am I meant to keep up with racehorses? We're not going to race them. Remember, they're scared of machine noise. Hold up, Scoop. Now, let's go. <laughs> Lofty. Extend your crane arm. We're going to make a barrier and steer them back into their paddock. It's not fast enough. <gasps> oh! Whoa! <sighs> Phew! Right, here's the plan. Wendy and Lofty will stay on site with me to rebuild the stables. Uh, it took all night, but we did it. And they're off! <sighs> Today, we are building Curtis a new car wash. Excuse me! <gasps> Sorry, Roly. The car drives in here. The mainframe moves over the car. The brushes spin around to give it a clean and... Beep, beep! <gasps> Sorry, I've missed a bit. Bob, I thought my car wash would be up and running by now. Sorry, Curtis. Roll is still rolling. It's done. The tarmac is flat. Hooray! Right. Our first job is to assemble the mainframe and lower it onto these runners. Leo, you're in charge of connecting the car wash to the water supply. You got it, Bob. Wendy, we'll need the control console fitted here. I'm on it. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! Now that's what I call a proper car wash. Curtis. Will you start it for us? I'd be honoured to, Bob. The brushes are turning nicely on their axles. Mainframe running smoothly. Everybody wait! I think I should roll the tarmac out some more. <laughs> Why, Roly? There might be bits of tarmac swishing around the car wash. Tell you what, Roly. Why doesn't Leo do another test run just for you? Then you can watch everything closely and if there's any loose tarmac, you can roll it out later. Thanks, Bob. Green is for go. Uh-oh. I can see some loose tarmac. I'll just roll them flat. <gasps> Rolly, watch out. Stop! Oh, no. Oh, oh. Don't worry, Rolly. We'll soon have you out of there. Oh, no. How did this happen? It's my fault. I didn't listen. Leo said not to go in when it was running, but I was too busy rolling. Let's get Rolly out of that mainframe first. 
Slowly, rolly. The brushes have popped out, but that's what they're designed to do. No real damage to the mainframe, but we're going to need another console. Okay, everyone. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Well, that looks a lot better. But will it work? As long as the mainframe resets itself, we're back in business. Hooray! As good as new! Could you build that new shower block next to these bedrooms, please, Bob? No problem. I've already drawn up some plans. This looks amazing, Bob. OK, team. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Here we are, then. Out you get, Spring City Rockets. Hi, Brandon. Who's my favourite nephew? We can't wait for tonight. Uncle Phil said we could camp out. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'd forgotten I'm taking your Auntie Val out for dinner, Brandon. You'll have to do it another time when I'm here. What if I looked after them? Please, Uncle Phil. OK. <laughs> I'd love to try camping. Sleep in the girls' tent with us tonight then, Dizzy. Let's make sure there are no insects in the tent this time, Mila. Insects? Oh, I don't really like creepy crawlies. Last time, Safi found an earwig in her sleeping bag. Maybe I'll camp with you another time. I wish I was camping with the others. But I really don't like creepy crawlies. But maybe they've got them all out of the tent by now. Ditty, it's too late now. What if we both go now? Hey, you're not going without me. But what nobody knew is that something strange lurked in the woods. Ooh. It had eyes so big and bright they could blind you. <gasps> the creature! Everyone get into Betsy! Wait for me! We're going home! Where is Dizzy? I thought she was behind you! We have to go back and look for her! Not on our own, it's too scary! We'll have to wake Bob up. We didn't realise you weren't with us until we got back to the yard. Are you OK, Dizzy? I'm fine. Huh? <gasps> How did all that happen? That might have been us, Bob. I think we're going to have to come back very early tomorrow. Sorry, sorry, Bob. We're really sorry about the mess, Mr Lucas. We'll put everything right. You'll see. This looks amazing, Bob. Thank you all for finishing on time. You've all done an excellent job building Spring City Splash, but we still have one thing left. The Double Dragon Water Slide. Guests will climb a ladder up to the dragon's tail, then slide down the dragon's body and shoot out through its mouth into the splash pool. Dragons are the best. Hi, guys. <laughs> Don't mind us. It's my birthday and I'm having a party here tomorrow morning! Did you hear that? We have to finish by tomorrow morning. Let's get to work! Yeah! Let's see who is doing what job. Scoop to build the dragon slides. I need you to help build the support beams for the slides. Oh! See how this marker sticks out of the hole? Yeah. We need the hole to be deep enough so that the marker fits in completely. Perfect. Now, Scoop, you have to dig the trench as deep as this hole. Oh, the dragon slides! I can't see anything from here. Wendy sent us to help finish the support beams. Scoop, you come in. Yes. OK, before we start, I have to check that the trench is deep enough. 
Hmm. Let me check the plans again. Hmm. Why don't we just start? Lofty, you lower in the beams and I'll hold them in place. What if the trench isn't deep enough? Oh, I'm sure it is. Uh, OK. It's in place and straight. Dizzy, pour the concrete. Let's get started. <gasps> Finished. Huh? Now the slide sections are here, I need Lofty to lower them onto the beams. Bob, Lofty, wait! The beams are going to collapse! Leo, get down, quick! What happened? It's all my fault. I don't think I dug the trench deep enough. I know support beams don't sound as exciting as dragons, but they are just as important. But what are we going to do? I would work all night to fix this. And that's exactly what we're going to have to do, Scoop. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Space Robot Muck, get ready for hyperspace. Right behind you. You two look like you're having fun. We're playing space robots in hyperspace. Maybe you should think about getting some sleep. Oh, can we stay up a bit longer, Bob? <laughs> OK. But remember, you're having a sleepover because we've got a very early start. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Bob. I've made up the sofa bed for you, Leo, so don't be too late. OK. <gasps> what? What? It can't be morning already. Good morning, Leo. All ready for the big day. Morning, all. Nice to see you up bright and breezy. Leo, I need you to load those hooks and plates onto muck, please. <sighs> yes, Bob. Today, we're finishing off the Spring City wheel. Yesterday, we built the A-frame and Dizzy cemented it in. So today... We have to build the wheel itself and raise it up so it can spin around. Then we have to fit the observation pods for people to sit in. The pods are fitted with hooks and metal plates, so we need you to bring them to the site. So let's get going! Last one there is a wheelbarrow! I really feel like a wheelbarrow. Permission to rest up for a bit? Oh, good idea. If we have a quick nap now, we'll be full of energy later. So, these are the observation pods. And the curved steel tubes for the outside of the wheel are over there. So now all we're missing is Leo and Muck with the hooks and plates. Don't we need Leo and Muck if we're going to get the job done before the Spring City rockets get here? Let's press on anyway. One Spring City wheel coming up. She goes. Still no sign of Leo and Muck. No. I'll try calling them. Ugh. Hello? Leo, where are you? We need those hooks and metal plates right now. Sorry, Bob. We stopped for a bit and, um, drifted off to sleep. What? But don't worry. We'll be back with you just as soon as I wake Muck up. Bob, everyone. I'm so sorry for being late. Well, you're here now. So, Lofty, let's get these pods fitted. Can we build it? Yes, we can! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> well, Space Captain Leo, are you going to have a go on the wheel? 